Solve each triangle round lengths of sides to the nearest end and angle measure to the nearest degree. So here we have three sides given and we need to solve the three angles. Now here if it is uh, three sides given, for sure we need to use law of sine. So we uh, law of cosine. Now for the angle, if it's unknown, so I'll show you the strategy how to do the formula. So if we want angle A, so cosine angle A. So it is angle A, the opposite is side A, so you subtract A squared. Then you need to add the squared of the two remaining sides. Then the denominator will be twice of uh, the two other sides. Then you have angle A is inverse cosine of uh, B squared plus C squared minus A squared over twice of BC. Then you can substitute your given. So B is 4 plus C is 3 minus A is 6 over twice of 4 and 3. Then close parenthesis. Now, this is easy. The challenge here is using your calculator. So if you plug in wrong, then you will get it wrong. So you need to be careful to plug in. So you'll do the shift inverse for your inverse, then cosine. Then there will be a, a parenthesis that will pop up in your calculator. Then you need another parenthesis telling your calculator this will be for my numerator. So you need to do the operation first inside the parenthesis before you do the division. So we have 4 squared plus 3 squared minus 6 squared. Then close the parenthesis telling the calculator this is R all together. You need to do this first before you do the division. Then you will have another parenthesis for your denominator. Then your denominator will be 2 multiplied by 4 multiplied by 3. Then close parenthesis. Then Let's try it. So you will do inverse cosine. So shift the second. Then cosine. So we have the inverse cosine. You see a uh, parenthesis pop up. Then you need another parenthesis for your numerator. You're telling your, denomin uh, your calculator do the operation first inside the parenthesis. So we have the numerator are... 4 squared, so you do the 4, then you do the hit the squared, so this is squared, then plus 3 squared, you hit the squared again, then minus, so minus uh, 6 squared, so you do the 6, then you do the squared, this is the squared, this button is the squared, so you have squared, then close your numerator. Close parenthesis telling your denominator, these are all my numerator. Then you divide. Then you have another parenthesis for your denominator. Then you have 2, then multiply by 4, multiply by 3, close the parenthesis for the denominator, then close it for the whole thing, then hit the enter, and you have 117. 117.28 degrees it says to the nearest degree so we need to round this so this will be 117 degrees then the only missing now uh, is oh no we still have two uh, angles to solve so then let's do angle B so we have angle G B the same strategy so you have cosine of angle B will be the opposite side of angle B is side B, so minus squared. Then the sum of the uh, remaining sides over the product of the remaining side. So we have B is equal to inverse cosine parenthesis. So your A will be 6, then your C will be 3 minus 4 squared, then over twice of 6 and 3. Now in the calculator, again you need to do inverse cosine parenthesis, then you need another parenthesis, so we have 6 squared plus 3 squared minus 4 squared, close it again, then divide another parenthesis telling your calculator these are all together. 
2 multiplied by 6 multiplied by 3, close it, then close it again. So let's try it in our calculator. So you do the inverse. Let me see. So you do the inverse. So this is the inverse, the second. So hit that. Then you have the cosine. Then you see there's a parenthesis. You do another parenthesis for your numerator. Then uh, we have 6 squared. So we have 6. Make sure that you're hitting the right uh, key. Then squared. This is the squared, x squared. So if you see it is x squared. So we have x squared. So it's squared now. Then you have plus 3 squared. So you do the plus. Then you do the 3. Then you do the squared. Then minus 4 squared. So minus then you have 4, then squared, then close it, telling your calculator you need to do this operation first inside before you do division. Then you have division, divide, then you have uh, another parenthesis for the denominator, so you have 2, so you have 2 multiply, then you have uh, 6 multiply by 3, you need to close the parenthesis for your denominator and close parenthesis for the whole thing. Then hit enter or equal sign. And we have 36.34. 36.34. But we need to round it to the nearest degree. So we this will be equal to 36 degrees. Now the only missing now is angle C. Now for angle C we can use the sum of all angle inside the triangle is equal to 180. So angle A plus angle B plus angle C is equal to 180 degrees. Angle A is 170 degrees. Angle B is 36 plus angle C is equal to 180 degrees. So then collecting like terms, so we have 117. Let's compute 117 plus 36, this will be 153, plus angle B, uh, angle C is equal to 180. So now we need to subtract 153 both sides. So 180 minus 153, this will be 27. So therefore, angle C is 27 degrees. Now, this is not that hard. The only challenge is the calculator. So if you get error you need to check how you plug in your uh, given or your uh, sides in the calculator.